to make one uh, one comment, and then we will take uh, uh, Senator Matinga, and then we will get a we will take a question. Yes, Mimi nitaongea kwa Kiswahili hivyo ndio tumepangana hapa. Kwanza ningetaka kusema kwamba sisi kama watu waliochaguliwa hapa kuna maseneta tungekuwa pia na wanjumbe kutoka mbunge la kitaifa lakini mbando wa Mombasa tuko pia na wanjumbe kutoka mbunge za county ndio hawa tuko nao hapa. Kwa hivyo nikusema tunaongea na sauti sauti moja indara zote za serikali zikiwa zime zimewakilishwa vilivyo. Kwanza ni sema kwamba tume tumestushwa sana na kushangazwa na tukio ambalo linaendelea kuhusu maandamano kumekuwa na maandamano kwa Mukonji na pia Njakaranda na hii maandamano yote mwenye anatumika ni mheshimiwa Laila Ondinga akitumiwa na rais aliye staafu Uhuru Kenyatta ni jambo la kushangaza kwamba aheshimu hata umri kwa sababu yule mzee hafai kuwa akipigishwa raundi katika akiwa na umri kama huo jambo la kwanza tunajua wazi kwamba wakati Um, bank ya NCBA ilikuwa inaunganika na NIC kuna pesa um, ambazo zilikuwa zinafaa kulipwa kodi ambayo ilikuwa ni milioni 1350 na hiyo haikufanyika kwa sababu NCBA mnajua pia inahusishwa na familia ya Uhuru Kenyatta na kwa hivyo inaonekana lazima Laila Ondinga na wafuasi wake watumike katika jambo kama lile kuja wamtetee katika maandamano ambayo inatuwalimbia uchumi na kuwalimbia hali ambako ambako Kenya nzima tuko na kiangazi na tuko na, na janga la njaa. Ya pili e, mnajua kwamba kuna huu mtambo wa 5G ambao ulikuwa e, sana inapeanwa rais Sen inapeanwa na na CCK. Lakini kwa jambo speciali ile Sen haikupeanwa na CCK kwenda kwa Safaricom. Na mnajua kwamba Safaricom pia ni kama ni ni, ni, ni parastato ni auma pia. Ili uhuru Kenya ndo walipewa ile leseni ndo wakauzia Safaricom eh, na pesa ambayo ilihusika ilikuwa bilioni 4 na hilo jambo lilikuja kujulikana ya kwamba anataka pia kukwepa ushuru na ndio walikuwa wameagiza KRA ambayo ni idara inakusanya ushuru kwamba waweze wa, 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 wa kuondolewa katika holga ya wale wanalipa ushuru na ilipojulikana ilifika kwa mwenyekiti ambaye alisimamisha hiyo hilo jambo ambapo wangekwepa na shilingi bilioni moja nukta ine ambayo ni pesa mingi sana katika Kenya wakati huu tunakumbwa na janga la jamu. Tuna jambo lingine la, la, la muhimu sana kwa sababu tukiangalia sana kuna kitu inaitwa rangeets kuna ile kondi inalipwa katika wenye maproti na wenye mashamba. Pia mnajua kwamba huru Kenya na familia, familia yake ni wao ambao wako na ile mashamba kubwa sana katika Kenya kutoka Mombasa kwenda Nakuru hata Narombi. Itawezekana itawezekanaje mkazi mwenye nakaka yole alipe pesa la shamba lakini wale ambao ni matajiri wakubwa wanakataa kulipa kondi ya shamba. Kwa hivyo pia tungeambia kaunti zote zile zinahusika kwamba wakuja wakuja wanakili mashamba yote ambao inahusika na wale watu walipi kondi. Walete ndio tuweze kuelezea wa Kenya kwamba tuonyeshe mahali shinda iko. Na ningetaka kuambia kwamba Uhuru Kenyatta na Raila Odinga kwamba kivuri cha fimbo wakifichi mtu njua. Hata wakijificha kwa maandamano mambo yao tushayajua tushayamulika na tutaendelea tutaendelea kufuatana na wao. Na niambia wa Kenya kwamba kama jiko halijafungwa tumaini la Mungu wa kula bado linakuweko. Hawa Kenya ambao tuko nao siku ya leo tunaambia bado kuna tumaini kama serikali ya Kenya kwanza bado iko kwa kiti kwamba wenye walipe kodi wa kodi watalipa ya mashamba ya zile biashara wanafanya ili wa Kenya waweze kupata huu mambo ambayo wanafaa kupata. Asante. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, my name is uh, Engineer Homo Matinga, Senator Nyeri County, and Chairman of Mount Kenya Senator's Caucus. Uh, for avoidance of doubt, we are united in what we are saying. We are demanding the former president, Uhuru Kenyatta. He had his power time, he misused it, and we are going after him. Not after his personal businesses, we are going after the fact that he has been avoiding paying taxes. And if you listen to Laira speak, you will hear Uhuru Kenyatta. The first thing that is pushing that people, Kenyans, will not pay taxes. We want to tell who. We know he's avoiding to pay the 1.2 billion that he was supposed to pay. After having brokered the license for the 5G, he was given um, uh, waivers for the taxes for the last 10 years. We are doing audit report and we'll place it on the house, on the floor of the house, and he must pay that. Nandio tunataka kumuambia, ajue, 
sisi watu wa Kenya kwanza hata wakija na, na tactics aina gani sisi lazima tufuate ndio tufanyie wa Kenya kazi vile tuliwa tuliwagana na wa Kenya na hii mambo ya ushuru tunajua warisukuma wapate selekari hawakujua tutapata kwa sababu yale mambo wamefisha walikuwa wamefisha ni mambo mengi sana na yameweza kufichuka yanaweza kutokezea na tutayasukuma mpaka tuhakikishe haki ya wa Kenya imefanyika asanteni sana eh uh, we take a few questions uh, in, in, in no particular order we can start uh, where and then you tell us uh, where you come from so that we are able to my name is Matthew from KTN News uh, two questions number one has the president sanctioned this statement has he approved it that you are going for the last of Kenyatta's and number two uh, what evidence do you have to prove some of the allegations you are Forward. To read on that question, Senator, to read on his yeah, second yeah. question, because you said you have credible information. You can probably give us a hint on how credible that information is and which, from which source? Uh, uh, two things. Number one is that uh, we, uh, we, we are Kenyans. That is number one. Number two, we are representatives of the people. We do not require any sanction from anybody to speak on anything. We have also a working brain and a working mind, and that is why we've been given uh, these, these jobs by our people. So on whether anybody has sanctioned uh, this statement, we require no sanction. Uh, that is number one. Number two, you asked uh, on uh, the credibility of the information that you are giving. Two things is that number one, uh, we are privileged Kenyans to be serving in parliament and to also be serving in the side of parliament that is government. So uh, and uh, most of, most, some of the things that I have actually mentioned are public knowledge. The merger between uh, NCBA, uh, 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 CBA and uh, NIC is uh, public knowledge, everybody knows. Uh, number two, you have also heard me, quote Anthony Maura, chairman of uh, KRA. He is a uh, uh, chairman and I think he's a patriotic man that he was able to whistleblow that uh, this is uh, the things that uh, the road that has been happening in uh, KRA. And uh, finally, we may not really necessarily have to jump uh, before the gun. We have said that we are doing an audit. The audit will be public. The you know, KRA will come to the Senate. Our sessions are never in camera. You will be there. All these facts will be right there. Uh, for some of us, we are, we, are, we, we are staunch Christians. We only speak what we know and speak what we, we believe is the truth. We are truthful men. <laughs> I, I am supposing the silence is because uh, the statement has been very exclusive. And very heavy. Maybe, maybe on that, uh, talking about taxes, would it be termed as maybe you are trying to deviate from the conversation of the arid uh, election as a senator? Uh, the, the topography of uh, our constitution has only one avenue of appeal for the presidential election. That is the Supreme Court. Once the Supreme Court uh, 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 speaks that uh, these were the facts, the only other available option is uh, patience and persistence. You are only patient for another five years and wait and try again. So all these other antics are things that uh, are not uh, founded on any basis of truth. If, if truly our, 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 our competitors or our opponents were speaking about the ABC, then their talks in their rallies should, should uh, uh, probably be on ABC, but they speak about the ABC a quarter a minute, and then they speak about avoidance of taxes the rest of the minute. So there is more than catches the eye. And again, maybe to add on that, coming six months after election, one would beg the question, have you realized?